This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. All right, our user story. There's been a couple of times when I wish that I could insert a new favorite bird somewhere other than the top three. Okay, that makes sense. So within the insert button event, create a new variable and save the value from the position drop down into it. All right. Ah, insert at number. So let's just double check. If you hover insert button position, see how it's looking suspicious here. Let me click on this. So I went into design mode and in design mode, you can see the ID position drop down. All right. That's the value we're going to be grabbing because the possible values for position drop down are one, two, and three. Okay. So we're going to have to do some index conversion there. Let's go ahead and get started. Bloop right here. So insert button. They want us to create a new variable. They said favorite index. We'll use their idea. Favorite index equals get number. Or if we want to avoid typing that so we avoid typos, we could head over to math, do a minus, and then head over to UI controls and get number. Now, get number is going to allow us to retrieve the number value of this design element of this position drop down. So the options here are going to be the value that we get to retrieve. So now I need to select that. Do, do, do. There we are. And keep in mind, we must, must, must subtract one because the user is going to see one, two, and three. However, arrays or lists are index zero, one, two. So there's three items in our array, um, one, two, and three. But if we are going to use that to put something into our favorites array, well, arrays are indexed at zero. Array, the favorites array can't have an index of three because that would be the fourth item. Okay, so we have this part looking good. I'm going to hit run just to make sure I don't have errors because it will throw an error sometimes. And yep. Okay. So, so far, so good. Insert the currently selected bird into the favorites list at the location indicated. All right. So now we need to insert item. And then our list, which is defined way up here, is named favorites. So I'm just going to copy and paste that so I don't mess it up because that's the exact can't have any typos. And then at what index? Well, the index I'm going to use is what we just saved. So favorite index. I'm doing this in the wrong spot. I'm going to move it there at the favorite index. And then what do we want to insert? Well, we want to insert the bird name. So let's test this out real quick. I'm going to hit run and I'm going to add it to favorites. Cool. Let me go up a few birds. Now I'm going to switch this number. I'm going to switch to three. And for this to work, we have to click the insert at number button on the event insert number. Keep that in mind, because if I just click add to favorites, my code doesn't run and it's not that anything's broken. You have to click this button over here. Let's go. Sure. Bloop. And C was inserted. Wait, why was C inserted? We need to update this guy now. So I'm going to go all the way back here and hit delete. We need to use the names list that we have and then what item are we going to insert from names? Well, we have that index somewhere way up here, right? We're using index to keep track of what name and image we are utilizing. We defined it up here and we use it throughout. So that should take care of this aspect. Let's see. Boop, cool, looking good. Onward. 